Hey, in this lesson, we are going over to the spreadsheets. So just as we saw within the active document and within the bound script, we can add to the UI menu and we can have some functions that run. We can do the same thing within a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna show you how, and we're gonna try the same prompt. We're gonna be asking to create a sheet and then creating that sheet dynamically using the app script to be the name of whatever was provided by the user. So let's open up the spreadsheet. And we can use the one that we were using earlier. So within any spreadsheet, you can go to Tools. And under Tools, there's Script Editor. And that's going to open up the UI. And then here, we can just give it a name. So we can just call it Sheet and Bound. Give it a, Always give it a good project name and uh, customize this so that we've got some more uh, visible area. So just as we did within the doc, we're going to run the default function. And this is on Open which will fire off whenever the Google Sheet is opened up. And then within here, we're going to select the spreadsheet object. So spreadsheet app and get UI. So this is only available again for bound scripts. So we're getting that UI object. And then within here, we want to create a menu. So this is the caption that the user will see. How about we call this advanced and we want to add items and then uh, so caption and then the function name of that that we want to add so in this case uh, we'll just call it update and this is actually going to create a brand new sheet and we can call it uh, new sheet so it'll invoke the function new sheet and then lastly you always need to add to the ui so this is going to add that particular content to the ui and then saving that and we should also create a function that's called new sheet Otherwise, we're going to throw an error if we try to run it because we won't have a function that corresponds with it. Uh, so adding into the menu, so running the on open, and then we've got our advanced, our update, so the script ran. So next thing that we want to do is we want to get the UI object because we want to ask a prompt. So creating an object for that and under the spreadsheet app, we're getting the UI object into an object called UI. And also let's get the spreadsheet. So again, using the spread spreadsheet app, we're gonna get the active spreadsheet. So whatever the active spreadsheet is. So this is the one because it's a bound script. So there's always gonna be an active spreadsheet and getting our response. So this is the response from the UI prompt. And in this case, uh, so we're going to be asking a prompt. We don't always need a title or we, we could have one if we want. So this can be whatever title we want to put in here. And in this case, we'll call it sheet name. And then the, the question that we're going to ask the user is going to be, what is the sheet name? And this is the option that the user is going to have in order to create a sheet. And then lastly, the buttons that we want to provide for the user. So this is a button set. And the buttons that we want to provide is uh, we want to have the yes or no. So what is the sheet name? Uh, we can also have the cancel as well. So this is all dependent on how you want to customize and how you want this to look. So now that we've got the response, we can check the response for the value of the response. So it's getting the response and we do get selected button. And if that button is equal to button and yes. So that means that there was a response entered. Uh, so that means that user is providing a name else. And then this is where we can just, uh, we can use the UI alert and just say no, no name provided. So it's going to be the default if uh, the user didn't provide a name that they're going to see that message. And let's uh, create another variable for sheet name. And the contents of the sheet name are whatever is in the response. So the response text that's coming back from the prompt. So we're going to get a value within the prompt. And we can also always log that out. So it's always a good idea to use the logger for debugging. So in case uh, something goes wrong, then you know that uh, you can select the sheet name 
and uh, maybe there was the sheet name wasn't selected, so you know, it's not going to show up within the logger. So it gives you some debugging options. Uh, so next, we want to create a sheet, and the sheet is going to use the active spreadsheet object, and it's going to actually look for a sheet. So we're going to get sheet by name. And the reason that we're doing this is that we're looking for a sheet that's going to correspond with the sheet name. And if we don't get a sheet that corresponds with the sheet name, so if the sheet object is not, not null, that means that the sheet already exists. If it doesn't exist, uh, then it's going to return back null. If the sheet object exists and it, that means it's not null, then that means that we have to delete the existing sheet. So we're going to use a method called delete sheet and we just need to specify the sheet object. We already have that as sheet. And then next, let's take that sheet object and assign a value to it. And the value that we're going to assign is whatever gets returned back from the insert sheet method. And it's going to create a brand new sheet. So we're deleting an existing one if it exists and we're adding in a new one and then taking that sheet object. Let's apply the method of name, setting up the name and the name that we want to set up is whatever the user had provided. So that's under the sheet name value. So I think we're ready to try this. So going into the sheet. So we've got update and we can call it test five and yes. So I created a sheet and also we already have one existing as test. So let's see what happens and that will delete it and create a brand new one. And that means that any of the content that we might have existing. So if we've got sheet one and we want to create a sh another sheet called sheet one, what's going to happen is it's going to delete the existing one and create a brand new one called sheet one. And of course you can customize the script as needed in order to provide the functionality that you need.